minute. In a radical departure from all previous COVID-19 relief laws, the bill before us today mandates taxpayer funding for abortion on demand. Today, the Rules Committee refused to even allow a pro-life amendment sponsored by Rogers, Fox, and Molorski, co-sponsored by 206 members. Madam Speaker, it is shocking to learn that the methods of abortion include dismemberment of a child's fragile body, including decapitation, and that drugs like RU46 starve the baby to death. Unborn babies killed by abortion at 20 weeks or later experience excruciating suffering and physical pain. And until rendered unconscious or dead by these hideous procedures, the baby feels every cut. Mr. Biden once wrote constituents explaining that his support for laws against funding for abortion by saying it would, quote, protect both the woman and her unborn child. Those of us who are opposed to abortion, Mr. Biden went on to say, should not be compelled to pay for them. Most Americans agree, 58% according to the most recent Marist poll. Unborn babies, Madam Speaker, need the President of the U.S. and members of Congress to the be their friend time has and advocate, not their adversary.